What's up everyone? Today is a very exciting day for us. Um, the power company just called and they are sending out our new pole and transformer. So we're going to be having a 400 amp transformer put in right here and then that will give us access to power our building. electric So I've got some blocks behind me that are ready to go into fruiting. Uh, this is a big batch of shiitake that is just starting to bark up. So this is an indication that it's ready to go in the fruiting room. And what I like to do is leave a small pocket to catch any excess moisture. Because it doesn't have a full bark yet, it's still susceptible to drying out. So I'll go ahead and give this guy a nice little cut around the base. Just like that. And everything lines up. Um, this will just pop off. So you can see there's a nice little layer that will protect it while it's going into fruiting. Good morning, Mushroom Fam. It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. I'm here on Friday morning at our uh, facility here in Sedalia, and we're about to pick some mushrooms, so I wanted to do a farm <coughs> tour of our <coughs> new setup. Um, that's our son, Nolan. He's chiming in and very excited because we just got our 400 amp transformer installed, which will really pump up our building. Uh, we've been struggling a little bit this summer, running off of two 20 amp circuits for our whole operation. So I'll show you guys that it can be done. It's very difficult um, and we're very excited to get our new electric going. Right, Nolan? <laughs> All right, let's go take a look. This is our Quonset building. If you're interested in how we built this or how it's set up, go check out our last year's video on building our new mushroom farm. Um, but I'll show you guys how far we've come since that video and what we've been doing this season. 
So if you want to come in here, I'll show you kind of the layout. So ignore this mess, this is our farmer's market gear. But uh, off to my left here, we've got our mushroom media. So these are soy and oak pellets. Um, and then we've got some of the grains that we use for our grain spawn. And then if you come in a little further here, we've got our uh, packaging station. So this is where we break down our bulk mushrooms into our farmer's market boxes um, so that we can take them to market. And then we've got our fruiting tent full of mushrooms here. Um, this is kind of some more storage and we've got some agaricus experiments going on. So one of my dreams is to do agaricus mushrooms at some point, um, but we're figuring that out. So as you come in, We've got, uh, this is our incubation section. So we've got some mukitaki in the works, some blue falcon oysters, namico, uh, beach mushrooms. Looks like we've got some enokis just starting to pin before they're even in the fruiting room. And then that's our spare bubble barrel. This is where we're going to frame in our lab as soon as we get our electric going. So. This kind of is a bunch more storage that um, will be utilized pretty soon here. And then as we come along, um, we've got our water irrigation system. So this is a 300 gallon cistern that we have a UV light that helps sterilize the water. And then we've got a float valve all the way down to where our fogger is, so I'll show you guys that. But if you wanna come step inside, um, I'm gonna do some harvesting. So if you're interested, we do have this listed on our Amazon products page. It was the cheapest 10 by 30 tent I could find for what we're doing. So we've got some reishi mushrooms here. Um, this is kind of an experiment. We're doing a few different varieties. And then we've got some turkey tail down at the bottom. I'm just gonna zip this up. If you come along here, we've got some chestnuts that are just starting to pin and some king oysters finally cooperating with the colder weather. So yeah, I've been experimenting with some different techniques just until we get our electric going. Okay, so there's the chestnut mushrooms. And then starting this way, we've got a whole different bunch of mushrooms. So we've got some lion's mane here, some oyster mushrooms. Beautiful pink oysters. Then we've got some Piapino right here. And some second flushes. I've got some shorts on how I do my second flushes. We've got some pinning going on down there. And then massive oyster mushrooms. So this is our blue falcon side by side, our commercial blue oyster. And then we've got our Mach 3 brown oyster. And then we've got some shiitakes that are starting to pin. Uh, we've got some more commercial blues. And this is our black falcon. So slightly different phenotype than the blue. And you can come along here. Let me grab a box so we can pick some of these shiitake mushrooms. Yeah. All right. so, just a quick tutorial. The shiitakes are definitely one of our more labor-intensive harvesting mushrooms, but basically you just come in through
can hear the exhaust fan coming on. So we've got a 30 foot exhaust pipe, a four inch pipe that helps us pull the excess CO2 out of this room, probably with all of us breathing in here and all these mushrooms, the CO2 is rising. So once it hits about a thousand PPMs, the exhaust kicks on. And then you can see here, we've got our fogger. So um, we're hooked up right now to a Inkbird controller. So every time the humidity drops uh, below about 90%, that's what I have it set at now. It will kick on the fog. So we've got some, these are some top fruiting yeah. oyster mushrooms. We've got some maitake that are pinning. <laughs> yeah, some maitake. So these ones are pretty long and slow growing mushrooms, but you can see the fronds are just starting to form on these. And we like to leave the bag a little higher to protect them from low humidity. And that's another reason why they're right around this fogger here. So we've got some more Piapinos penning. We've got some blue oysters and some beautiful lion's mane in the back there. A nice big lion's mane mushroom. Look at those beautiful hairs. mobile cooler for uh, storage for our bulk mushrooms that we just picked so if you're interested in seeing how we built this we did a video on how we converted a trailer into our cool bot but essentially we'll pick our mushrooms throughout the week and store them in here and then we'll package them into our mushrooms for market all right let's go check out the lab all right, so this is our temporary lab for the season. It's our fifth lab in four years. Um, so we're kind of figuring out the setup, pretty tight quarters in there. But until we get our electric installed, right, Nolan? This is what we've been using all summer long. All right, come on in. All right, so you can come on in. We've got our Presto and our all-American pressure cooker on our CADCO burners. So this is what we've been using to sterilize our grain spawn. And this season we have to switch over to these injection ports um, just to help mitigate contamination. Great. <laughs> so we've got our breeding project here. Um, these are some beach mushrooms that we've been breeding, uh, some liquid culture, brand new Mukitaki strains that we'll be putting out very shortly. We're just uh, waiting for the larger jars to grow out here. So with all of our liquid culture, we quality control it on these petri dishes to ensure that it's sterile. Um, and then we'll use these new media extraction lids to pull the liquid cultures. So go check out our Etsy shop Fresh Fungi. We've got a bunch of different strains that we grow down in the building as well as a bunch of new varieties like this uh, late fall oyster mukitake that I'm really excited about. Um, yeah so we'll have that up on our Etsy. And then this is our bulk sterilizer, the Bubba Barrel. 
And one new addition that we did this year, because of the, the tight quarters of the lab, uh, we hooked it up to a thermal sensor. So as it raises the temperature of the room, it will exhaust the steam out the side window and that kind of preserves the integrity of our lab as the uh, pasteurizers go. So, check out these cool stickers from some of our friends. Shout out to She Grows Fungi and Mike Ogeeky. Fascinated by fungi. Pegasus bags. And of course, the Bubba Barrel. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that farm tour. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that farm tour of our six season 2023 stay tuned if you're interested in more mycology videos or mushroom farming videos and check out our etsy shop fresh fungi all right say bye 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 much love